I just signed up for Semaphore News here, independent journalism, as a proud moment here. Thank you, Tom Shivers, for releasing this. This came out yesterday in Europe News. This deserves to be represented. People need to stand behind this because Russia, the great motherland that I've learned from all the history books, all the, all the great causes, it's clear that Putin, Vladimir Putin, the war criminal, killing his own people, waging war and putting his own Russian people through a living daylights of nightmarish you know, old Soviet Ukraine uh, and and Russian uh, you know the the entire the entire country uh, and Russian You're just singling it out that's what Putin does every day and here and some bright hopeful news provided she's not assassinated provided she's kept safe let's hope to ensure she's kept safe Yulia Nav Naval Nanya Yulia Yulia Navalia Nana apologies for my for my uh, mispronunciation. She's the Russian opposition leader of Ale Alexei Navalny, who was uh, assassinated wrongfully, where Putin had him murdered. She, that's what she says in here, and I couldn't be more proud to see this as an American citizen. Whether or not Putin falls or falls through, I hope the Russian people stand behind her because the Russian people have a right to their own sovereignty, their own rights in Russia, but they do not need to stand back to watch their own country, the great motherland of Russia, falls in the annals of history by the disgraceful war criminal Vladimir Putin. We watch that in America every day and how he encroaches with his comments into America. And we say, Putin, you are dangerous. And opposition to him is dangerous, where Navalny had survived a poisoning while several other notable descendants have died in suspicious circumstances, both in Russia and worldwide. I say, Save her, protect her, keep her safe, and everybody else who's standing up with her. Ton Shivers, this woman will not be forgotten, because if she dies, if anything is to happen to her, we will be holding the future of every young person in Russia who has a chance to stand up, to be a defender of their own country, to bring back the benefactor of the positive image of the greater part of what Russia can be, more than the dictator-controlled, fear-mongering, disgrace of hate and bigotry and violence and bloodshed in the world becoming a bully of the world but instead becoming a beacon of hope for their own people to be proud of all of their history apart from the sins and wrongful actions that they have taken in the past no different than the united states i'm a united states citizen and i gotta say let's let's put the voices out there to make sure that we don't let a woman like this disappear in the annals of history I just saw a post that Donald Trump thinks we could go back to uh, 1798 when slavery was endorsed. I will only give that one mention here. I'm not ignorant to the news. Donald Trump actually said that. I'll make sure I put the link in the uh, in this post. But more importantly, Yulia Navan, uh, Yulia Navanania, uh, if that's how to properly say her name, she needs to be protected. The Russian people, people in the UK, need to put support behind her. Make sure she doesn't end up getting you know, knocked out, taken out, hurt, injured, wounded, disappearing. Anybody who threatens Putin and his opposition, they always get taken down. Something happens. There's no question. Every time women try to speak out in Russia, every time there's some type of civil rights in Russia, those people get squashed and squandered. People in Russia, even the own, even the own oligarchs and rich and powerful organizations there, they have been bought out and controlled by Putin. And the question is, as long as this has been going on, how much longer are they going to stand to watch Putin tear down the fundamental core of the histories of Russia? Russia may not be my homeland. America is my homeland. Why do I speak like this? Because I'm a human being. There are people suffering war crimes, atrocities, civil rights of people being encroached and hurt in the world. And the power of the voice, even here from America with my First Amendment, I say to those in Ukraine to stand up and protect the people and give sovereignty and hope for those in Russia that look for a better future. And those in Russia have the chance to overcome and defeat the opposition that Putin has created to build a better world. That is a hope we can hope for for the future. But now we are in times of which there's ongoing war slaughter, killing and innocent children, senior citizens, Ukrainian people, even those who have volunteered to help fight the war in Ukraine, we watch here deeply and wholeheartedly as the whole world watches. And I say it on my channel, I stand with Ukraine, Slava Ukraine, and I hope and pray Vladimir Zelensky can be a part of this great movement as he is an icon coming from an, an acting role in comedy and turning into an iconic battling field 
commander, a president, a hero, a commander-in-chief of his own country, a great staple print of pride, and we in America are fully behind you, Zelensky, President Zelensky, fully behind you. I stand with you, I support you, and I will be voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz in 2024 because I solemnly believe she is the one candidate, not because of the lesser of two evils. She is truly, for the first time, the first woman in history recorded that is going to make a difference to pursue justice and bring back a beacon of hope and opportunity in this great country of the United States of America. And that's what our country is supposed to stand for, a beacon of hope and change and hope to uh, prosperity, liberty, freedom and justice. I believe Kamala Harris 2024 will make that possible. And a woman like this should be honored. She should be treasured. She should be protected. I hope more people stand up. I hope more people speak out. There's already 1,000 likes and 168 comments, but don't be a fool. Don't be a fool to this that she's not in danger as we must treasure her, keep her safe. Thank you again, Tom Shivers, for this article.